My name is Steve Datz, and I own Your Creation Station. We're a paint your own pottery studio. We're more of like we're becoming a walk-in art studio. Walk in, pick the project you'd like to work on, and then start. We'll do pretty much anything. We concentrate on paint your own pottery is the bulk of it. I'm a potter myself, so that's the, how we started and that's the main focus. Right from like first grade, all through elementary school, junior high school and high school, I had clay. So I was just exposed to it very early on and loved it. Uh, I got through high school playing football and making pottery. We get all ages come in from very young babies whose hands and feet will press into clay. I have one customer I'm thinking about, I haven't seen her in a while, but she was in her late 90s. Uh, and she would bring her great granddaughters in and do projects and stuff. But it's really for everybody. As long as you're okay with your three year old painting something, I am too. It's really a very family oriented kind of thing. This store kind of grew itself. I mean, my idea was, you know, pottery and then maybe have some other stuff here and there, but I didn't know what the other stuff was gonna be. It was really been dictated more or less by the customers coming in and saying, hey, we'd like to kind of do this. We get a lot of people come in saying, I'm not an artist, I'll never be able to do this, and they walk out with the most spectacular things. So it's neat to be able to see in, in any age. I mean, you see it in kids, you see it in adults. It's something they thought that was beyond their reach really is within their reach. Um, and it, you didn't have to reach very far to get it. And it's kind of neat to see that in people. There's certainly a financial aspect to it, but that's not the biggest reward with having a store like this. I mean, people like it, it embraced it, um, it brings back childhood for some people. I mean, everybody comes in and says, oh, when we, you know, when I was a kid we did it, and you know, I did too. These kinds of places don't really exist anymore. This isn't really like work. I mean, I listen to my friends talk about sitting in the meetings and all the corporate this and that, and, the, and I tell them, oh, geez, I gotta go, I'm gonna be making 60 tie-dyes today out, you know. I'll sit out in the sun, maybe under a canopy, you know, with the breeze. It's really a one-of-a-kind place. Mm -hmm.